Welcome back, survivors. I'm the survival this and we return to Dino Nest. So, I got a lot of things. Okay, fight over food, so... Just trying to see. Yeah, there are carnivores around the area, so I think that's what are going to do first. But after last episode and the discovery of how I was messing up so much, I've kind of figured out the biggest thing to... Okay, so I got... You know what? Let me see about just raising this nest and seeing if I can get rid of it. Like, these guys are going to be nothing to deal with now. My big problem was that I wasn't actually leveling the... Our nest up at all, because they require you to eat only the stockpile. That's the only way you'll gain progression for your pack. So, because I've been eating so much out in the field, they've never been growing. And now we're going to fix that. We're definitely going to be fixing that, and we have last episode, and it, it might come up a few times again this episode. It's just, it's one of those blunders where it's like, you know, you kind of figure out all your, it's an epiphany. That's the best way I can put it, is you doing something that was so obvious wrong for so long, that it's just like, you're dumbstruck at how much you've messed up at that. But yeah, now these guys have grown up, I think we're at sizes like 8, 7, and 6 for them. And with this food we'll be stockpiling, we should be able to actually start, like, increasing the pack size. Now, I was going to raise the nest, just get rid of that so they won't be a problem. Then we'll probably work at actually getting the, uh... The over-raptors next. Uh, the combis might be a bit problematic. You know what? Let's actually try it. I can flee, I think, at any time. Yeah, I have the runaway option already available. But with their size, I don't think they're going to be, like, that problematic for me. Oh, yeah, no, they aren't at all. Yeah, we do have a low health on a few, but... No, I think... Yeah, we're doing very good now. These guys have grown up. They're able to handle much more. It's just going to be to stockpile what we can. And after this one, I think we're able to add some more members to the pack. Yeah, we'll head back to the nest. Let me just check genetics. Okay, so it's going to be a little while still to go. I'm going to... Yeah, get the two and see what we got from our hatchlings. Ooh, that's a pretty interesting color scheme. It looks like rapid growth and something else to it. Invincible, that's a legendary. Oh, okay. So let's feed everybody. This is definitely going to hit our food supply hard there, yeah. It did hit our supply a bit hard, but... Ah, uh, no, I'm looking for... Yeah, we'll scavenge and get... Oh, actually, it got... It even got named as Invincible. Okay, so I'll let them start doing this for a while. Are you... Okay, yeah, you scavenge too. Okay, so I guess you can be lookout. Oh, okay, so that's the maximum cap. Let's dig out the rest of the cave, because we have this now opened up. Slowly work their way at that. There we go. So we can do a couple more beds. And then we even have water here. So that is actually going to help, and yeah, as long as I have them here, water's not going to be a problem. And you go and look out, and let me take a look at Invincible. So what does he have? Rapid growth level 2, so it grows 100% faster. Max health is already 132. Holy crap. If it's already 132... Yeah, like, these guys, I think, might be good to even take with us. Maybe not quite yet to, like, go out on hunts, but... You know what? Let me try attacking, just to see what we're up against. Because, again, I've got... I'll... Okay, it is Pulmona Scorpius. That might be a bit problematic, but... 
Oh, no, no. Like, these little guys, I probably will have to keep them at the nest for now. But what I'll probably do is just... I could even take them out hunting the, like, the prey items from the first area, actually. Yeah, we can take them back there. Okay, so there's nothing else around the nest to really go for. Let me try going after some of these scorpions. Like, I'm not sure if I really should be bringing the little guys with me, but the thing is, they're going to help stockpile meat back, so I can even... Oh, I probably should have actually eaten while I was out there. Okay, but you know what? Let's head back to nest. They can eat. This will grow them up. Or hopefully get some of them a little larger. Okay, genetics. Nothing quite there yet. It'll be next level there. Let me take a look at the pack here. Yes, you're size 8, almost 9. You're almost size 8. You're size 7. Already grew to size 3, and you're size 3... I think they're all good to go hunting. Just Oh, I also need to go into the alpha menu. Um, no points or anything from looks of it. I guess it's just kind of... Oh, activate leader perk. Click on cave entrance. I guess it's just a little few things to kind of tell us we could do. Um, okay, so there's the oasis, the forest, the beach... I'm going to keep working in the forest for a bit. And let's keep after the Overraptors and the Archer... Oh, see, that's a... I don't want to quite go after the Dilophosaurus yet. Once I can get the Hatchlings up for size, I think I will. You know what? Yeah, we'll fight this. Just get our hunger meter up. So that's what I want to... God, now that I figured that out, everything else is falling much more into place. It's like finding that missing puzzle piece. Then you understand how everything else is supposed to, like, sit and fit together. And we'll go after this little guy here who is trying to snoop on our carcass. I'll be honest, I think I'm actually going to try taking... Okay, I'm going to fill up our hunger... I'm actually going to take out the other nest of the, uh, Overraptors. I think we can handle it. We've got the five of these guys, and with the amount of health that they do have... That is still the thing. I do wish we could kind of see these guys actually, like, growing in size as we're in this screen. Because they seem to be static to only this size. But I guess that's because of how big your pack can eventually get. Oh yeah, like, look at this. It's just ripping right through them. And let's clear out the other half, and then we'll... Uh, collect all the meat from this, and stockpile... I just completely missed that. I did not realize that was such... I was completely limiting the growth, and now... Now that that's fixed, look at what we're doing. This is normal difficulty. Like, this isn't on easy. That was my big mistake. I think that might be something that'd be good to include in the tutorial more. Okay, so there's a meat gain there. And... Yeah, let's... Honestly, I think we're going to have this stockpile just get up to a huge amount... It's like, these compies are going to be a little bit more, and they're all going to be, like, this low health. Oh, man, I thought I was going to have... Yeah, this is going to be pretty easy. A lot of meat and everything there. Start stockpiling it. Look at how much that's going to be immediately gained now. And they're actually still sitting pretty well for the amount of health they have, too. Yeah, so we're taking back 10 per little go. 
And we still have enough hunger that we could... I kind of actually would like to go after that, but... Okay, so there's nothing else we can do to that. I guess we have to let it fill up, actually. So, uh, let's... Oh, actually, we have the dominance over this area now. That's... So, that's pretty interesting. I mean, we don't really need these things. Well, it's just because there is that, like, little alpha quest to hunt so many of them. Like, a single attack's probably going to rip it out. Yeah, there we go. I might even just uh, fill our hunger up by using them. I think it's, I need to, like, go after five of them. Okay, yeah, there we go. It took a little bit of time, but we'll do that, then we'll go get a drink. Might even give us, like, a hunting opportunity, too. Yeah, with how well Dino Sis or sorry, Dino Nest has been doing on the channel, I think I'll be able to keep this series going for quite a while. Um, yeah, it is just three. And now we'll go get a drink. And then we'll claim that. So that'll probably get us into a fight with just these two little guys. Oh, and they have so little health. Like, they were already beaten up from something else, so... Yeah, that's... A bit there. And we can stockpile all that good stuff. Look at that. Up to 59 meat now. And our guys are still doing pretty good. So again, I just want to try to get the last of these snails and then hopefully... I think there's going to be one more I need after this. But we'll take a look at the listing, or actually just see what we get back, because these guys are... Are they three meat each? Yeah, they are three meat each, okay. Unfortunately, yes. I don't know if I would have saved the meat that they'd taken or not, but... Uh, Codex... Okay, yeah, that's just going over... So there are... Yeah, there are a lot of areas I can still go to and see. I still... No, I guess it's... And there's deadly rating to them. It doesn't give anything about, like, the stats of them, though. But it's interesting to see, like, all of the, uh... Little bit of info, info here provided. The deadly rating. Okay, so how am I sitting? You know what? I, I'm going to try going for a little bit more. Ooh. Uh, you know what? Okay, I think we're actually going to head back to the nest, because I don't like the deadly rating on them. I might be doing pretty good, but I'm not going to be reckless about it. Let's just be cautious and see how it goes along. And genetics, I can get them even larger, and you know what? I'm going to feed them. Because that's going to, again, let the little guys grow up even further. And, yeah, so scavenge. Oh, actually, I should just be doing that. And you can be lookout. So let me take a look at the alpha. It, okay, I still need one more and then that'll be done. Genetics, yeah, nothing I can do there. Pack-wise. So you're size 9 now, 234 health. You're size 8, you're almost 8, you're 3, and you're 3. Yeah, so there's that done. So, I... Oh, yeah, that was exactly my problem. Okay, I'm just going to let them build... Um, actually, I guess it's not too urgent to really need the, uh... Stop lookout, stop scavenge. What we'll do... I don't think he... Yeah, nobody's wounded, so you know what? We're going to search around our area and see what else is, like, nesting around here. Um... Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll go after these guys. 
just quickly go after them. That's some easy meat stockpiled. Because it looked like they were actually maybe fighting each other. And if there's still the other group, then... Yeah, this has definitely changed incredibly from, like, just last week. All because of learning this now. And then there's some more we can go after, which is some extra meat. That was my big, big problem, that now that I've solved, it really does flow a lot differently. There's the last of that to bring back. Okay, so now let's explore around the nest, because there was... Yeah, these guys were coming back. And these were where I got the huge surplus. Yeah, already that's taken... I might even just... Um, should I speed up combat or should I let it go at its own pace? I don't think it matters too much, really. It's just... I don't want to make this, like, a all of a sudden super zoom through. Because that, I think, was one of my big problems earlier is... Again, games will provide you a lot of information and tools. You just have to be receptive and open to them. Which I admittedly was not. But now that... All the comments that came in, and also a check myself to see, like, no growth happens if you eat out in the field. Yeah, it's a lot different now. And it seems like the max number that you'll go up against at a time is five individuals as an enemy. How big your pack can be, though, if they're lined up like this, I'm guessing you could have maybe even back to, like, here. We just have to get all the resources for that. Okay, so we'll get the meat from that nest. There's that done, and we'll fight off all these guys to even more meat to collect. Oh, man. The raptors are going to be kings of this island. We just have to give it enough time. Like, there's six more added to the pile. I don't know if I actually lost any, though. I didn't... Did I only have 38? Maybe I did. That should bring it up to 40 now. Yeah. So just four trips of this. That is... Take this back. Actually, they're not losing hunger, are they? I'm surprised at that. I guess because it's more of a nest raid than it's, like, actually hunting in that. But yeah, there we go. That's up to a pretty good amount. I'm going to even go get a drink and... Okay, so let me go... Again, I just want to try to find this last bit of prey item that's out here. See if I can get a good opening to... There we go. Yeah, this will be the last bit I need for the alpha. That'll send that all the way up. And then with that, I can probably take us back to the nest, get everybody fed. We need to get more little hatchlings along. Stockpile that. Everybody's going to be back to the nest now. Let everybody heal up who needs to. I'll feed first, and then we'll have hatchlings. Yeah, so let everybody eat. And that should probably put them up to maybe another size increase. We'll have to see. It looked like it was, yeah. Okay, so the alpha. Yeah, so there's three more points. I feel like the rap, the rapid might be better. Because, like, the dominance is doing just fine. Yeah, so this is a little bit of your guidance of what you should try going for first. Uh, Genetic-wise, okay, so it's 21 I need... Let's have everybody scavenge, and you can be the lookout. Let's even get three. Okay, so let's... Yeah, so three grew up, four didn't survive. Let's see what we got. We've got a clumsy. You're probably going to stick back in the nest. Got an ordinary with something there, and another ordinary. 
So it looks like 631 here. Let me take a look at the profile. Yeah, clumsy. You're not going to come with us on the hunting party. We'll probably keep him around just to... Ah. Uh, like, help for defending the nest. But with that clumsy trait, like, let me actually show that a bit proper with the pack. Like, you're ordinary and... Ooh, actually, you have some very thick scaling on you. You're pretty good, too. Yeah, clumsy is... Oh, 0% dodge chance. Okay, so that's actually... You know what? We'll take you with us. You know what? Let's go after whatever's trying to hunt us. Because, again... Ooh, okay. Miss might have been a problem. But let's see how we do. Well, we lost a hatchling. And we're probably going to leave... Oh, man. Okay, this was a bad idea. I didn't realize it'd be this dangerous. Ah, shoot. There's no way to know what the rating is until you basically are out in the battle. That did not go how I wanted at all. Okay, stop that. Back to the nest. I didn't think I was getting reckless, but there's no way to know what that, like, the r danger is. Okay, everybody eat. We might as well try to get you guys stocked up to food. Okay, genetics. Uh, increased chance for hunting for all. Much higher chance to successfully vanish when ambushed. Oh, crap. I didn't have a lookout, that's why. And I can't flee, can I? Ah! I'm going to basically lose almost everybody here, if not everybody. Oh, that's so... That is not fair. Like, that was really unfair. So, if you're going to have everybody scavenge, you have to have somebody kept out as lookout. Okay, at least I'll be able to, like, get some more meat in there. I'm guessing maybe the birds have a... Like, profile-wise, oh, man. Okay, I'll... You know what, we'll try to at least get our meat storage up a little bit better. I'm going to stick to the beach for now, and just go after... I guess the compies in that. Yeah, you know what? If I can go after those five compies, I think just on its own it should be able to handle it. The biggest thing here is going to be stockpiling meat again. I can build up from this, though, because this guy is large enough for sizing that I can actually... I think I can recover from this. I just need to take my time and slowly build us up again from where we were. Okay, so actually, that's all the compies out of the area. Yeah, there we go. So, if I can get the stockpile built up again, hatch even just two more to kind of put me back to where I was, I can spend a little bit of time hunting these guys. If I can actually land a hit. There we go. Yeah, grab these guys, slowly build us up. And I can recover from this, but I did not realize that's what I was going to have as like a threat was the terror birds. You get away. That's our 16 meat. It is going to take a lot of time to stockpile. But it's going to be worth it. And as soon as anything else comes up around there, I'm going to... Yeah, just bring this all back. There's going to be a number of trips... And we'll probably start hitting our hunger to a danger point after this... Okay, after this next one, I think we'll have to... Yeah, so we'll head back to the nest with that. Oh, 
Um, I thought I clicked that. Okay, you know what? I might actually be able to deal with this with just this guy. And if I can... Yeah, I think he's going to be able to handle these. Uh, just, it shows that how quickly, if you do something wrong, it can snowball bad. I had no idea what it was I was actually, like, going to be going up against. Maybe if I paid more attention to, like, above the nests, it gave better clue as to what it was. But yeah, so, our Alpha on his own is able to handle five Overraptors without much difficulty. And I think because it's all in the nest, I won't have anything like the health taken off of here. Ah, oh, but I do have these guys, like, scavenging at the... Okay, there's that taken care of. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so there's that also taken care of. Is there one more still? Ah, three. He should be able to handle those three, but then after this, I'll probably just have it stockpiling whatever is left over. Yes, yeah, so there's that one gone. There we go. Okay, so that's another six meat, and... Yeah, stockpile it. Now, am I going to lose hunger? Because this was all supposedly in the nest still. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, so I'll have at least the 10 meats surplus. It's recoverable. It's not exactly great that it happened, but I can recuperate from it. I definitely just have to have somebody on lookout, and then just to go and hide if things come up. Ah, uh, no, I'll ignore, because... Again, we'll have the last bit here. Okay, there we go. So yeah, head back to the nest. You gonna eat? Okay, so how much do you take? Just on your own. Okay, you took 10 on your own. So you know what? I... Oh, man. I even just have to prepare the nest. Okay, well, I'll save things here, and we'll see if we can recuperate the losses of this episode. It really is. As soon as I start doing very good, I completely blow it on something stupid. Ah, oh, I just... I cannot get over how I messed that up, but we're not in a total loss. We have prey items, I can go stockpile meat. It's just going to be a slow grind to get up there, but thank you guys for joining me on another episode of Dino Nest. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give us a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave it all in the comments right down below. Until I do see you all in the next video, though, survivors, please remember, as always, take care and stay alive.